Welcome to the St. Michael Fall Podcast Series. My name is Greg Pickens, and I will be leading our meditation today. Our theme this fall is Building Our Future. This is a unique time in the history of St. Michael Church. God is calling us to take courageous steps forward. Together, we will build a future where the kingdom of God can be seen and known in new ways. As the psalmist said, send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. A reading from Matthew chapter 9, verses 9 through 17. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man called Matthew sitting in the tax booth. And he said to him, Follow me. And Matthew got up and followed Jesus. As he sat down at dinner in the house, many tax collectors and sinners came and were sitting with Jesus and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when Jesus heard this, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. Go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners. Then the disciples of John came to Jesus, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, The wedding guest cannot mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them, can they? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one sews a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old cloak, for the patch pulls away from the cloak, and a worse tear is made. Neither is new wine poured into old wineskins. Otherwise, the skins burst, and the wine is spilled, and the skins are destroyed. But new wine is put into fresh wineskins, and so both are preserved. Here ends the reading. Today's reading contains much of what is known about the Apostle Matthew. He is mentioned a mere seven times in the Scriptures, but his story is important to believers. From the Bible, we know that Matthew was a tax collector in Israel. He was one charged with taking money from the rich as well as the poor and giving it to the Roman emperor. It was a job that no one respected and few wanted. Still, Jesus walked by Matthew, knowing who he was, and invited Matthew to be a follower. This is a strange choice. For an Israelite, Matthew was the lowest sort of businessman one could possibly be. So what exactly did he know about becoming a follower of Jesus? Nothing. And that is the point of Jesus choosing this man. There was nothing to commend him to the rigors of ministry with Jesus. Matthew was despised. No one would have invited him into their homes. No one. Despite this, our reading is so encouraging because it reminds us that there are few at St. Michael who feel super prepared, at least in the beginning, to help with elements of keeping our parish functioning. Have you ever thought about the different volunteers that keep St. Michael going? A short list would include teachers, attorneys, financial advisors, people who visit the sick, writers, support group leaders, welcome people, worship leaders, musicians, mission leaders, and that is a very short list. Here is something to think about. Imagine you were with some friends in the South Lanai after service and our rector, Chris, saw you and said, please, come with me, I have something for you to do. Now for most of us, we would be interested in helping in a way that is consonant with our skill set. But if the ask was to teach the adult forum or children's Sunday school, well, helping is one thing. But doing something that is not in our wheelhouse is another thing altogether. Matthew, a tax collector, 
one who most of the population would have reviled as a thief in the service of Rome. And yet Jesus made Matthew a disciple, one who would tell the people of Israel about the love and forgiveness of the Lord. Jesus chose Matthew not because of what he had done, but because of what he would become by being a disciple. There are all manner of ways to get involved at St. Michael, to become a member who is deep in ministry here. But what you are good at in life may or may not be what the Lord is asking you to do or even what the parish needs. And yet, as believers, we are all called into service. Matthew's story is such a love letter to those of us who are asked to join together and take that first step in faith. We are invited to help our parish continue to be the light of Christ in the world by accepting the offer. You will be blessed and you will bless others. Amen. Please join with me as we continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we are to pray and to give more than we either desire or deserve. Pour upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid and giving us those good things for which we are not worthy to ask except through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.